So hey everybody, it's TR here and I'm here with one of my uh, RV repair videos today. Well, good morning everybody. Uh, I'm in the middle of a little repair job here and I thought I'd share it with everybody. But uh, looks like I'm going to have to get battery. And uh, the light's a little bit funky, but hey, what the heck. Let's get down here and I'll show you what's going on. Uh, there's my washer and it's been on the blink here for uh, oh gosh for quite a while actually and uh, I had a suspicion that the pump was just uh, full of uh, junk uh, from uh, years of use and um, it was causing these error codes I was getting on the front an F10 and then uh, I actually saw a different error code one time was a 05 which was for the pump <clears throat> and so uh, Anyway, that kind of made me think that uh, I was going to have to wrestle this son of a gun out of where it sits and uh, uh, basically take a look at it. So I'd been having that uh, F10 error code show up on the front of the washer here for a while and I got online and uh, checked it out and there's a pressure switch on the top which I'll uh, show you here in just a second that uh, it's said to replace and I'd done that and got no satisfaction, no love. So uh, still getting the same problem, and uh, I had suspected that the pump was probably full of junk, and uh, been putting off getting into it and fixing it. Uh, but uh, now I'm down to where I got to do laundry, and I uh, need to have a washer that's going to run reliably. And uh, so it's time to take a look at it. Um, I'm already well into this. I've got it out of the hole. That was quite the challenge, and then uh, set it up here on the bed platform to be able to work on it and. Uh, popped the back off and realized I have to get into the bottom and so here we are at the bottom. Right now what you see there on the lower left is the pump itself. Uh, the main motor is sitting right there uh, which turns the drum and then some of the draining mechanisms, some of the shock absorbing uh, aspects of it. It's self-balancing. So here we are uh, taking a look at the pump and uh, like I said, uh, like I mentioned I'd already uh, disassembled this and here's some of the stuff I found. Mostly lint, a lot of dirt, kind of some nastiness in there, gritty, really gritty. But uh, anyway, this pump come right apart, three screws holding it together. And uh, then I had to pull this little impeller out. This is a permanent magnet motor, so you gotta give it a pull. And then you can kind of see inside there. And most all of that, lint and various crap uh, that come out of there. Uh, looks like there's still a little bit of mud and stuff in there. I can just see that in the light. So let's get that a little uh, scrub out of here. Uh, let's get something to use to wipe that out. Just get it as clean as possible. Uh, that's a lot better. Okay. You want to make sure this O-ring is is down over this little uh, white post here, otherwise it leak and uh, not pump efficiently. And so I made sure that I just pulled it in around there. You see that? Now, when you put this back together, it's going to suck it right out of your hand because of the permanent magnet. And then I just gave it a nice push to get it reseated. Okay, and then when you put it together, it's going to compress it a little bit anyway. So let's put this guy back in there. Takes a Torx, uh, I think it's a T15 probably. Yeah, Torx 15 to do the work on that. <coughs> Whenever you're adjusting or tightening up a pump or doing anything like that, um, I always uh, do it in steps, so seem to have lost the other screw. So what I'll do is I'll snug it down. Okay, that's just snug, and then I'll just go around and just retorque it a little bit till they're tight. The screw behind here is a little tricky to get to because it's. Uh, you can't quite see it, but there you go. Uh, let's put uh, this hose back on. 
I probably really didn't need to take it out, but that uh, I used that to drain the water out of the pump system. There was a fair amount in there. All right, get hold of this guy. Okay, so what I'm doing too is I'm sliding that back up on there and then levering it back and forth. Don't get your finger between that. It pinch it, pinch it good. There we go. All right, that feels good. It's all tight. Everything seems pretty tight. Okay, so I think that's all we can do in there. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. So tuck that tail in right there. Yeah, that's looking good. And again, uh, don't tighten it all down pure tight. Give yourself a chance to be able to get the adjustments made that you might want to make. Positioning of this pan, mostly just so you can uh, get the holes lined up. I kind of want you to get that going. Drip it, drip it. So uh, there's the hot water hookup. I'm gonna go feed the pipes. Those tubes up here. So now we get the hot and the cold hook back up. New Mars Infinite Wisdom. They put the outlet right between the two water supplies. <laughs> uh, not such a good idea mixing water with uh, electricity. But anyway, let's shove this puppy back in here a bit further. So here we are back. We got everything reconnected. I'm getting ready to put the uh, foot locks back on. So I hope you find that helpful. Uh, it worked for me really well. Um, and the washer ran about uh, eight more weeks, and then it went back to giving me the F10 error problem again. And frankly, at that point, I'd kind of had enough of it and it was looking like I was probably going to have to replace that pump and it kind of looked a little wore out when I had it apart anyway. But I just decided that it was time to uh, give up the washer dryer and gain some storage space. And so I rebuilt that cabinet so I could keep a lot of my photography and videography gear in it and keep it up and out of the way. And so I've uh, got a video coming up on that here in the future. But here's a little teaser. So I hope you like what you're seeing. If you are, I hope you give me that thumbs up. That'll be helpful. And then also be sure and subscribe. We've got a lot of great videos coming up. Uh, campground tours, uh, just personal updates, and then of course my RV repair stuff. I got lots of that to do because I've been on the road all summer. And there's lots of things breaking down, particularly causing me some heartburn right now are my shades. And uh, so that'll probably be one of the first things we look at. Uh, I'm actually researching maybe replacing those. But, that's another episode. And so until we get together again, thanks for watching. Peace.